Your car guy here. Today we're working on a 2003 Chevrolet Avalanche. This one's the four-wheel drive Z71. The issue we have is that the blower fan for the heater and air conditioning is only working on two positions. Most likely cause if the fan's working and you're only getting a couple of positions working is that the blower resistor is bad. Now, not a bad job to do, actually quite simple. Let me show you what we're gonna do. So we're gonna come in here from the passenger side to get access. And look up underneath the dash. Now under the dash, you're gonna see this cover here, which runs across. There are three screws holding this cover. One is gonna be right here. Another one right here. And the third one over here, right about underneath the console area. Once those three screws are out, they're gonna be either a 932nd socket or a seven millimeter. You can remove that cover. And now we have access to see the blower resistor here. Blower resistor has this bundle of wires plugging into it from the bottom. And these two screws, which are seven thirty seconds or like a five and a half millimeter. And you can get that out. This will plug into the fan itself. Now, when you look at it, this one, it's pretty obvious what's wrong. I see rust and corrosion. I can see this wire here internally broken. And that rust and corrosion causing issues. There's one other thing that you need to inspect and look at when you're doing these, is the wiring plug coming in. Now, as you can see, this red wire has gotten very warm and has melted out part of the plug. Now, we can replace that wire. If it's still conducting good electricity, we can clean up the plug. See how black and dirty that plug is right here on the end? Should look like these ones, nice and clean. Got another one that's a little bit dirty right there. We can clean up that, make sure we got good connection before we install our new one. Something you can do with just a simple scraper. Okay, so looking at this and looking at that burn plug that we want to clean up, we want to make sure and get the burn off of it, but we also want to make sure that the pin tension is correct. And by pin tension, I mean that when it goes in, it engages and actually connects really well to the pin that slides into it. Otherwise, we're gonna have a loose connection which will generate more heat and cause more of this melting like you see here. So I have a nifty little tool here that I use. I picked these up. These look like tweezers, but that's actually a diamond file right on the end that allows me to clean a connection. I'm gonna clean up that connection and then I may go in and use a pick to pull up the center tongue so that I have good pin connection. So when I slide a pin in there, it should be nice and tight good firm connection so that I don't get this kind of heat generation and, and poor uh, connection on the next resistor. All right, so now we've cleaned up the wires and we've plugged everything in. We're gonna do a quick test to make sure this works before we put the cover on. Now we'll take the key, turn it on. And position one, I have air. Position two. Everything's working, looks good. Now it's just a matter of putting that cover back up underneath and we're done. About a $28 part. Uh, if you don't have the automatic climate control, this one you can see does have the manual controls. The automatic climate control part uh, can be about $100. Uh, you can shop that online. You most likely will be able to find it a lot cheaper online versus at your local auto parts store. This is your car guy.